That's it! I have no choice! I have to use the restroom! No! Please, no! Mighty fuck! That wasn't just gas! It was diarrhea! This is not happening! Fuck! Quick, sit back down before it runs out your pant leg! Be casual, stay calm! I thought you had to use the restroom. False alarm! Oh man, I guess I do have to pee. Excuse me, I have to make a phone call to my sick grandmother. She has diarrhea. I really hate to get up, but I must compliment the chef. My psychic friend told me to get up and walk funny. I can be near such beauty for only so long. I will run like a child now. I'm having a stroke. No! Those are too stupid. No! Jesus, Martha, what the hell is that smell? Somebody's baby needs a changing. Oh no! Quick! No! Oh my god! Somebody put shit in my pants! The ghost! God of rash covered scrotums! Stare deep into the sinking abyss of my individually wrapped slices! Holy wax! Check out my armpits! Somebody pull this Torino out of my ass! Let's get pizza. It was wacky. Please, don't do this. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. I'm too young. I'm too attractive. There's still so many rejects out there that I haven't made fun of yet. Please, let me go. I'll do anything, I swear. I'll even be nice to you. Please? How is it you're so beautiful and so fucking ugly inside? Suddenly being out with a guy who dumps in his pants seems really nice. That smile on your face is all the proof I need to see that you are miserable. Your happiness is little more than the setup for an old yet hideously cruel Jew. The punchline being your inevitable pathetic realization that you've wasted so much of your time thinking that somebody could actually love you. Just a person, not worth devoting any nightmares to. Absorb, and I will prove it. You flaw. At least I'm under the delusion of doing something productive. Love. <laughs> See? Bones and tissue, tubes and fat, all sustained by blood. Nothing more than a poorly tended machine. And look! It has a brain! Fueled by the blood that races heavily in times of grotesquely heightened desires and vices. You can see the matter and feel the substance, but eyes and hands are useless for sensing the rotten filth of ideas that drip from these things. Two species under one name. Human, separated only by the workings of their minds. This one is human only in appearance. A clever disguise for a simple animal. The real humans are harder to find. <coughs> Sometimes it's easy to feel like you're suffocating in a world where the rotten ones are all you'll know. But don't ever lose your clarity. Never forget that these things exist in all forms, in all places, in all colors. You see, son, I resent your existence. Okay, maybe that's a bit harsh. No way, it's true. I really despise my life, and you're a major factor in that. Whew. Feels good to have this talk with you. Do you know what it's like to be trapped into a life you never planned on having? I mean, look at me. I can't believe I have this shitty job I do. And it's even more unbelievable that I have a kid. It's like having a roommate you can't just kick out. You know, I had other plans for myself. This is nothing like how things should have been. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't live here. And your stinking mother wouldn't be doing all that shit she does. Little kid, I'm sorry nobody loves you. But just think about it. Think of how miserable I am. And how much of that is your fault. I... Sorry about that, but it didn't look like he'd be shutting up anytime soon. And I've no time to wait. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be up in a while. He might be permanently blind, though. Oh well, that should make it easier to get away with stuff.